Hey, what's up guys? Black Sheep here with 2012-13 OPG Blaster for Retail Review. Um, OPG, 14 packs per box, so it's going to be a longer rip, and um, it does have these cards on the side that you can cut out for fun on this blaster. So let's go ahead, open it up, <clears throat> see what we get. Alright, look at that. All those packs inside. Lots and lots of packs. OPG always makes for a fun break. You know, getting anything out of OPG, like I always say, it's a little bit hard to get a hit or anything out of OPG. But I always enjoy looking through the looking through all the cards after after going through the rip. So let's go ahead and see what we get inside. Oh no, look. Package shredding. That's not something I don't like. It makes it actually kind of hard to get the pack open. Let's put a shiny card right off the gate. And oh, we also have uh, these retro cards. Tyson Berry. Retro is this a rookie card? I'm not sure. I'll have to double check. I forget what the retro was, were like in 2012 13. And then Johnny Boychuk. Rainbow Foil. Alright, here we go. Next pack. Looks like we have a sticker in this pack, Daniel Alfredson. Sticker card, and Paul Coffey, legend. Carey Price, that's a nice one, nice base card. A lot of Carey Price fans, of course. And we have a retro of Brett Connolly. I've opened 12, 13 Opeachy very much, so it's kind of nice to see. We've got a checklist card. You don't see checklists nearly as often nowadays as modern card collecting. David Legwand, retro, and pop up card of Zach Parise. That's pretty cool, pop up card. I remember getting these when I got my hobby boxes of um, this product. Kind of a neat card, the pop up die cut design. I think I got a Gretzky actually before. Brandon Sutter, Rainbow Foil, Scott Niedemeyer, Marquee Legend. Alright, here we go. Ah, this pack is kind of hard to open. Looks like we got another sticker in this pack. Dion Phaneuf. Retro and Corey Crawford sticker card. Getting lots and lots of insert cards in this, which is nice, especially for newer collectors or collectors just buying. Cool, another checklist. Jordan Nolan, marquee rookie. Inserts are always nice. I think they kind of break up the product and give you something kind of cool to look at in between. Let's see what we have here Wayne Simmons, retro. Ryan Clo, miss him. Marky Legend of Bobby Hull. Oh man. Uh, I don't like this. Oh, it's hard. Okay. Well, we'll do that. Corey Franson Retro. Oh man, look at this. This is like the worst thing ever in terms of bag opening. Colby Roback, marquee rookie card. And just a couple more packs to go. Twelve thirteen was not the best year in terms of getting rookie cards and stuff like that. Curtis Joseph, marquee legend. Retro. And this is our last pack here. Let's see if we can get it open. So we have something in here. We've gotten something in almost all the packs. Oh, that's nice. Alex Ovechkin sticker card. And then Brent Sutter Legend. So let's go back through. 
We had a Brent Sutter Legend, Alex Ovechkin Sticker, Curtis Joseph Marquee Legend Retro, which is a cool, different design, a Marquee Rookie, Colby Roback, Retro of Cody Franson, Bobby Hull Legend, Wayne Simmons Retro, Jordan Nolan, Rookie Card, we got a sticker of Corey Crawford, um, Dion Phaneuf, Retro, Scott Niedemeyer, Legend, Brennan Sutter, Foil, Pop-Ups Card, Zach Parise, David Legwand and Brett Connolly Retros, Marky Legend of Paul Coffey, Daniel Offordson, Sticker Card, Johnny Boychuk, Foil Card, Tyson Berry, um, and this is this should be Retro Rookie Card, because the design is different on that. They did different designs for all of them this year. So, pretty cool. Um, nothing huge. I think the biggest name, obviously, was the Ovechkin sticker, but um, a fun break. Lots of cool inserts. I'll be writing the review. Check out the link down below. Always retail review every Sunday morning. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.